Oh, when the blues go marching in. Oh, when the blues go marching in. Oh, I want to be in that number when the blues go marching. Aloha, blues fans, and welcome to the Hawaii Blues Fan Show. I'm Guy, the Hawaii Blues Fan, and this is the program that is by a fan, for the fans, and most definitely about you, the fans. Today, I'm coming to you from the Minner Family Arena, a super fan cave. What a place to be. You see this up here? Well, this is what happens when the Hawaii out, Blues fan as sharp as they thought doesn't they double check his work and make sure that his mic's working properly. The Blues in a location try and he only has a few penguins. minutes to film. Leaves. And I may have I given away up. a little I bit keep telling him about the fame. I keep telling him. Well, you know I have two promotions coming up. The first one is with the St. Louis Blues Lounge Facebook group. They're trying to get to 20,000 members. They're at about 19,700 and climbing, getting close to that 19.8. Uh, once they get that 20,000 mark, Johnny's going to do some giveaways. So join the group. Or if you got friends that are Blues fans, tell them to join the group. It's a great thing. And then the one that I've been super excited about, this is the last day to get entered. You need to get entered today to win those two tickets. Yes, two tickets to see the Blues play on the 31st against the Rangers. Oh, I can't wait to see this one, and you get to go with me. So get it, your information in, and I'll tell you how to win them a little bit later. Now, let's talk about the Blues and the Sabres. Last night was amazing. I was given two tickets in a very good spot. I was close enough to see the sweat coming off of Carter Hutton. It was a, a great game. Um, place was packed. Everybody was there for Carter Hutton. I had said in yesterday's episode where I thought the loudest cheer was going to be for Carter Hutton, and it pretty much was until the end of the game. Um, and I was also concerned about the Blues giving up that first goal. What was going to happen? First period comes along, and the Blues played puck control. They did pretty decent of, of controlling the puck, but there were some glaring problems in that first period. Neutral zone play. Neutral zone play is where we... Are the weakest. I don't know when we're going to get better at it because we don't have speed and the way you beat speed is puck control. In the neutral zone the Blues are constantly passing the puck to the guy going backwards not towards the net and that slows up the play that slows up the the flow that really messes with the game. So first period ends nothing nothing 10 shots for Buffalo Six for the Blues. Now, that's not a glaring number. The only problem was there was only one, one quality shot for the Blues. Buffalo had a few, and Allen was good. Second period comes along, and you're not sure what's, you're kind of tight. And Robert Thomas, early in the second, opens up the scoring. Gets a dirty goal, uh, shoots it from the side, kind of puck gets under Hutton. He moves and shoots the puck into the net. Dirty goal, we'll take it. A little bit later, where did this one come from? I don't know. I haven't said one good word about Bo Meester all year. And then he makes a goal scorer's goal. Finds open area just off the point. Puts in right off the post a beautiful goal scorer's goal. Bo Meester, I'll take that one from you. A little bit late. 2 nothing. You're worried. You're wondering what's going to happen. And then all of a sudden, big rig behind the net. Gets the puck just in front of the goal line, shoots it towards Hutton, it hits him in the back, in the net. Hey, we got one of those for a change. Yay! Big rig, way to go. 3 nothing lead, everything's going good, and then the ticky-tacky penalties. Now, there was one early where there was a trip called that really wasn't a trip. Uh, Eichel's coming down, Edmonton's behind him. Um, Eichel starts to lose his footing, Edmonton's too close. He Eichel runs in the... Uh, um, Allen, they call a trip. I didn't think it was, but that's what our officiating comes up with. Then, on the power play, Allen gives up the goal. Now, when I first looked at it, I thought it was one he should have had. But now, as I've seen the replay a couple times, I'll give it to Eichel. That was a goal scorer's goal. He found a hole, put it there on the power play. More power to him. Two-goal lead again. Pitter-patter, pitter-patter. 
You know, what's going to happen? We've lost this two-goal lead six times. We enter the third, and the Blues did something they haven't done all year. They didn't play on their heels, but they controlled the puck. They, they made Buffalo come to them. And because they did that, they were able to get some open spaces. And with seven minutes to go in the game, O'Reilly. Breaks down the right, the left hand side, gets right in front of Hutton, and lets one rip. Beautiful goal scorer's goal, four to one. That's where it ended. They the they treated Hutton like he was that relative that everybody just kind of mm. sort of liked who left. Mm. When he comes back, they let him know that they don't like him anymore. Yeah, that's how they treated him. Um, great game, good atmosphere. The place was going nuts. And one quick thing, that was my first time in the Enterprise in two years, or since last year, and since March of last year, and I love the changes. I know a lot of people have complained about them. I like the openness. I like the, the more fan-friendly areas. I really do dig, dig the changes. Maybe I don't go to a game a lot, so it's new to me, so I like it when some don't, but that's just the way I feel about it. I enjoyed it. Uh, now we've got the Pittsburgh Penguins and Sidney Crosby coming in. Sidney scares me. He is, in my opinion, one of the top five players of all time. This is a team that's won two Stanley Cups in the last three years and three in the last five or six years. This team knows how to win. They can be down. Two years ago, they were in eighth place and won the Cup. This is the team that we need to model ourselves after because we still have a chance if we start playing the way we've been playing. Haven't won three in a row yet. Can we? I don't think so. I think Pittsburgh's going to come in. I think they're a little bit more talented. And they're, now, they're uh, a bigger team like we are with that finesse and not as much speed, but they think they're a little more skilled. Um, I'm going to go with Penguins in a high-scoring game, 5-4. Uh, to four. And now we get to talk about the fans. I've talked about it before. The difference in my show is I just don't talk about the game. I talk about you, the fans. And there are some super fans out there. And this is the place of a super fan. Well, since I'm in the Minner Family Arena, why don't I in introduce everyone to Dennis Minner? Hey, Dennis, can you come on in? Hey, what's going on? Hey, what's nice to meet on? you. Thank you for Aloha. letting me come. I really appreciate this. Aloha to you. So, everyone, this is Dennis Minner. This is Dennis's fan cave. Yep. Right? You call this the Minner Family Arena. Yeah. Uh, and from what I understand, it took about three years to get this done. Yeah. Um, yeah. It started. Yeah. It, it started more. Um, yeah, it started more, uh, with almost kind of joking with my wife, um, you know, just sitting there saying, uh, when we bought the house, we came downstairs, it kind of looked like it had a layout of a hockey rink. So literally on this wall, uh, right here, we drew a net, uh, and my two daughters and I would come down and unfinished basement and just shoot pucks against that wall. Oh, like that uh, movie, um. She's out of his league. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so that's yeah, that's pretty much what we would do. Yeah. So and it started from there. Well, I see you've got memorabilia out the ying. So tell me some about what you have here. Yeah, yeah. Some of it, um, it's been really cool. A lot of stuff that's been given to me mm -hmm. um, has been really nice. You can't you can't see it right now, yeah. but um, over on this wall over here, some of the original glass mm -hmm. uh, from the Scott Trade Center from a couple years ago oh, yeah. uh, when they were redoing that, and they mm -hmm. actually gave me a piece. Um, and then, um, you know, it's all lined full of sticks. A lot of these sticks have been given to me from players when I've done photo shoots and things like that. Uh, the team signed Jersey, uh, that was from year 15, 16, when we really hoped that we were going to win the cup, yeah. um, and made the big run. Uh, that was a, a full signed, yeah. uh, team Jersey wow. from Kyle Brodziak for, yeah. for doing some family photos. So, uh, yeah, it's been fun kind of grabbing things like that, you know, from different players, you know, that personally been given to me. Yeah. So what I like is, um. I know I, you, I'm going to try and show everybody. Actually, you can see this one, the Lion's Choice. When I was a kid, I worked at the Lion's Choice in Bridgeton. That was kind of my first real job. So I like seeing that one. Um, so this has inspired me. Oh. Um, I'm going to start a new segment, and inspired by the Minter Family Arena, I'm going to start the Fan Cave of the Week. And I'm going to have my wires send me pictures of their fan caves or their areas where they show their blues memorabilia, and we'll start highlighting those. And... You watch the show, right? Oh, yeah. So you know that I always have a fan of the game? Yeah. Congratulations, Dennis. All right. You're Thanks. the fan of the game right. for Thanks. the Pittsburgh Penguins. <laughs> Everyone, Dennis Minner, 
And I know your sponsor. Yep, Adam Smokehouse, uh, brought to you by the one, the only Adam Smokehouse, best barbecue in the entire city. So go check them out and uh, tell Mike I said hey. Great to have you here. Thanks so, so appreciate much. Appreciate it. Thanks. Talk to you later. Well, that was really nice having Dennis here. That was the second time that I've had a live uh, fan of the game, and that's pretty cool. Um, tattoo of the game. So I've talked a lot about how I go through the groups and I find one. In the lounge, I found this beautiful gray steampunk tattoo. This is on Sarah Campbell Waddle, and it, it's amazing. I know some people may not like it, but when I look at it, I see the, the beauty of it. The steampunk ideal, the gear, the, the mechanics of it. Now me, in the Navy, I was an engineer. I was a gas turbine tech, so I love that mechanical side of it. Sarah, this is really nice. I love the gear. The gear just shows the workings of it. It's on her lower back. It's in a good spot. Um, it was well done. I don't remember who it was done by, and I do apologize. Uh, please forgive me for that. Uh, just a great tattoo. Sarah, thank you for having our tattoo of the game. So normally, here I would put my pet of the game, but I, I'm going to skip pet of the game this time. I had double pets last time, so I'll count that. Buckingham Pest Control. They are giving away two tickets to see the Blues on Monday against the Rangers, New Year's Eve, at the Enterprise. And this is basically it. Once you see this, you'll have less than 24 hours to sign up. You need to go to Buckingham Pest Control's Facebook page. You need to like that page. Then you need to scroll down to the post about the tickets. There's two of them out there. Make sure you get one of them, at least one of them. There's two of them. Like that, share it, and tag three of your favorite friends. And then go to my YouTube page, Hawaii Blues Fan Guy, and subscribe. Now, there's the caveat to that. If you subscribe and you have your subscriptions on private, I can't see it and you can't get the extra one. If you do subscribe and you really want to keep them private, let me know and I'll work with you so I can make sure that you signed up. I want to go to that game with somebody. I'm hoping it's one of my fans. Everybody, please, please show Buckingham Pest Control how big of Blues fans you are. Everyone knows what my hashtag is. And I was saying it at the arena last night, and people were saying it back. I'm bleeding blue with you. Don't forget that. We're all bleeding blue. This has been a wonderful show. I want to thank Dennis Minner for allowing me to come and shoot at the Minner Family Arena. What a great place. Um, I'm going to just, I just enjoyed it. Ari, what do you tell the fans? That's right, Ari. We say, let's go blues. And Kat, I'm in St. Louis, the home of the blues. Sing me some of them blues. Oh, when the blues go marching in. Oh, when the blues go marching in. Oh, I want to be in that number when the blues go marching in. Oh, when the blues go marching in. Oh, when the blues go marching in. Oh, I want to be in that number when the blues go marching in.